What's up, y'all? It's me, Only Black Girl, here checking into your screens. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Good. Well, as usual, we're here to talk about some shenanigans. This week, I wanted to talk about the um, hilarious apology that D. Way Newton put out. <laughs> apologizing for being light-skinned it was great it's fantastic i'm gonna link the video down in the description if you haven't seen it you should go watch it it's truly magical i've wanted so desperately to apologize every day to to, to darker skinned actresses to say i'm sorry that i'm choked i'm the one chosen i want to talk about this because as a dark-skinned person and really as any person with sense you don't even have to be dark-skinned to see how this apology was so stupid. Like, it's so dumb for me. It, it just like encapsulates the issue around talking about colorism because this is what we always run into. Anytime we try to have a conversation about colorism, you have light-skinned people that come in with their light-skinned tears when nobody asked and just derail shit like this. So first of all, I still don't know what the hell the context for this video is because it was my understanding that she was promoting a new movie that just came out and I can't figure out where this came like where did this come from what prompted this I don't understand and she hasn't seemed to come out since then and explain where the hell this came from like never in my life on the internet anywhere have i ever seen anybody talking about this bitch so i don't understand why she decided to come to us and offer us this lukewarm take girl you started the video by saying i'm sorry i'm the chosen one what are you talking about what the, the chosen one for what no shade sweetheart but you're not really an a-list actress like, I see you in a movie, like, maybe once a year, if it's a movie. Because, frankly, you've been doing TV shows for quite a while. Which, no shame, because TV shows are lit. But, like, the chosen one for what? Who, who, who are you stealing roles from? That's what I don't understand. Like, this whole thing was about, like, I'm so sorry to dark-skinned people who feel like I'm taking the roles from them. I'm taking your men. And they're so angry at me. Who's angry? Nobody has ever, ever talked about you, girl. Where is this coming from? Like, I don't understand. I feel like this is, like, this is, like, one of those people that, like, one person, like, walking down the street like, says something, like, offhand to you, and then you decided to get on the internet and make a whole video blaming the entire world for, <laughs> like, something one person said to you, like, at a coffee shop. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the entire world has been attacking her, but I would like to see receipts for that because I have not seen not man person, dark skin person, um, or African Americans, as she said specifically, that it's only African American people, women, uh, who have been attacking her. Where are those people? Show me the receipts. Where? Where? Because I can't. T Before this video came out, I cannot tell you the last time that I have ever thought about Miss Newton. Not once. I, girl. Before this video, I literally forgot she existed. And she goes on to say that she's sorry for stealing our men. Madam. You're married to a white man. Whose men are you stealing? I, oh, did she steal your man? Did, you, hey, did Miss Newton steal your man? Draco, did she, she steal your man? Is somebody's man missing that Miss Newton stole? This whole video is just like, what are you talking about? I'm so confused. Like, my favorite part of the video is when she goes on to say, um, growing up in Britain, she thought she was dark skinned. Everybody there told her she was dark skinned. And then it wasn't until she moved to America, um, that people started calling her light skinned. Bitch. You know, I don't live in, 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 in Britain, in America. I, I've lived in America my whole life. But I know damn well that there are dark skinned people in England, Britain, all over the world, okay? Because also dark skin is not synonymous with black people. There are dark skinned people of literally every race of color. So unless you were in some 
backwoods special community of only light-skinned people and I mean like because if you're considered dark that you must have been like with albino people. So and so unless you were in a community of literally only albino black people, I don't understand how the fuck you grew up thinking that you were dark skinned and you didn't see not a single dark skinned person, not a single person who couldn't pass a brown paper bag test in your entire light skinned life until you came to America and then you came to America and you were called light skinned by african-american women and all you shook you are you dumb and she specified african-american woman so not a single person in the world not and you came to america as an adult from my understanding so you 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 really spent your whole life until you was an adult thinking that you were dark-skinned and you came to america and and the, and the darkies of america told you you were light-skinned and now all of a sudden we get this video of you stealing our men and apologizing for being the chosen one. She just keeps going on about how being in America and being a light-skinned person was more devastating than being black. More problematic than being black is being light-skinned. Has been way more problematic than being black. Which, are you not black just because you're light What? Do you see the problems here? It's so frustrating as a dark-skinned person trying to have conversations about colorism like in all seriousness this is a conversation that truly truly needs to happen because colorism is rampant in the black community and worldwide like we always talk about colorism in the context of the black community specifically but colorism is a huge fucking issue worldwide bro talk to afro latinos talk to dark skin uh asians <laughs> girl Colorism is a huge fucking issue. In my experience, when we try to have these conversations with people, especially people who are marginalized, they get so defensive because they cannot understand the fact that you can be marginalized in many different identities, but you can still be privileged in many other identities as well. Um, and it's so funny to me. It's so ironic to me because we can preach these um, same things to white people but as soon as it comes to apply it to ourselves all of a sudden all hell breaks loose and oh there's no possible way I can have privilege because I'm light-skinned because I'm black and there's no way uh why well, I was called and I was made fun of for being light-skinned when I was a kid so how can I possibly have privilege and well I grew up black I grew up being called uh, the nigger from the white people so how can I have privilege and when I'm light-skinned blah blah, blah 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 that has nothing to do with colorism like, you understand that, right? Like, that has nothing to do with colorism as a systematic issue. You can still be treated like shit and still have privileges. Like, it is just literally a proven fact that colorism is real, is an issue. That light-skinned people are able to have way more privileges in this world, not even just in America, in the world, period, versus dark-skinned people and that's just a fact whether you want to admit it or not whether you want to give us your miss newton apology or not and it's wild to me <laughs> that this video was labeled as an apology and literally all she did was make herself a victim of something that never happened this whole video is the equivalent of the meme ma'am this is a wendy's like everybody is just minding their business drinking their mimosas you know having fun Cha -cha 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 it's black history month we having fun and then all of a sudden miss newton's like excuse me i would just like to apologize for being light-skinned and i'm very angry at the darkies for being mean to me and i'm taking your men and i'm not black but I'm light skinned, but I'm a light skinned black. But it's harder to be light skinned than it is to be black. And I just wanted you to know that I apologize for being chosen over you. Say, ooh. Like truly, like conversations about colorisms need to happen. Definitely, I want, I've been wanting to make videos about colorism for a long time, but I know how y'all react to conversations about colorism. Like you just cannot get out of your own fucking feelings and put your own pride aside to have a conversation about it. And so it's really frustrating to try to have these conversations as a dark skinned person. Um, but I, I, I definitely want to try to make more content on it. So I will definitely try to figure out um, how to approach the topic in the future but yeah I just wanted to respond to this video because girl what the fuck are you talking about what are you talking about and 
I definitely don't hold this against all light skinned people because even light skinned people have been like, bitch, what? <laughs> Because it's just so fucking absurd. You know what? Actually, a great example of somebody who did this correctly was Zendaya. Like, and she didn't come out with a whole monologue about, oh my God, I'm light skinned and oh, people have been so mean to me and blah, 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 blah. Zendaya actually came forward and was like, yo, I understand my privilege in the world and especially in Hollywood as a light skinned actress. And I'm trying to do my part in being better and turning down roles that should be for dark skinned people. And she's done that, like, and she walks the walk. Like that to me is combating colorism, not putting out these ridiculous videos about how, how tragic your life has been. And less of talking and just shutting up and doing the work. That is what actually helps combat oppressive systems. We don't need your monologue of mixed tears. We don't need them. How about instead, if you truly actually, which I don't believe that you actually give a shit about colorism, Miss Newton. I really don't because otherwise you wouldn't have put out this ridiculous ass video. But for people who actually, light skinned people who actually are interested in trying to combat colorism, stop whining about it and just do the work the same the same shit that y'all preach to white people all day long about racism apply the same shit to yourself and just switch it from racism to colorism that's all it is it's all the same principles you just replacing one identity with the other anyways that's all for today uh <laughs> don't forget to like share subscribe if you also saw the video and um have thoughts, <laughs> leave them in the comments. But um, this was so fucking stupid. <laughs> Bye y'all. <laughs>